But I mean, I mean, in the geographical areas, what percentage of the do you think that would be business people? Is there any would be business people? Get this, yeah, demographics. Or um, well, if you go into, and actually if you go to that ads manager, and you just start, you can start playing with this, it'll tell you that potential reach. So you could, you know, pick a geographic area, right? And then maybe put in here, you know, you can start putting some behavioral stuff in, like... Um, like SAR, like standard, like... Well, like in your case, let's say it's... Uh, what about industry? <coughs> You can also exclude people as well, Richard, right? I mean, you, not just. Richard, you could put in an industry there for your Yeah, let me see if. Uh, what, uh, what kind of industry are you looking for? Service uh, dry cleaning. Uh, personal service. Personal care at night services. That's a good point. Uh, personal care, perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only 20 million there, Richard. Uh, 30,000. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Down, hey, down too. Yeah. yeah, that's an interest. Um, you could also look for people, like there's a trade um, industry, like you could look for people who are in that trade industry. Because you want owners though. Yeah, yeah. It, it may be, you know, again, it's, it may be a little bit specific for looking for owners of dry cleaners. Um, maybe a little bit tougher to find uh, on Facebook. Because I, I find it's, it's, it's better a B to C than maybe a B to B. Um, I mean, if the target is dry cleaning, I'm sure that the owners probably have their own business page on there, and that's probably who the target. Potentially. Yeah. I mean, I can't you're imagine that like, you're me doing personally doing go on there and say my interest is dry cleaning. Yes. <laughs> well, Ellen, you know, maybe. I like cars. Yeah. You're doing more than dry cleaning. You're doing such a scatter shot approach <laughs> that you just put in dry cleaning. Because you're hitting so much more than you need to, that your expenditure is going to be somewhat wasted. Yeah, because I, you know, I have a B two B aspect where I actually recruit agents, like from Coldwell Banker, um, <laughs> get them over the day after they join Coldwell Banker. Um, but also like B two C. So there's there's times when you know you find things that people like, like people who like Zillow, which is a you know kind of a website that's out there that people do property search on. That's a good interest to go after. If someone likes Zillow, potentially they like the property search. So that's a good B two B and B two C. What's the B two C? Business to consumer. Oh, consumer. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, Richard, you're yeah, solely B2B. Yeah. yeah. So am I. Which is different. A lot of the philosophy of this is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our new agent has a question. Yes. Is it allowed to set up your the link in a way that the potential buyers will have to enter the information, like email address and name, so that you can follow up? Yeah, there there are there are basically uh, pages that you can, you know you can take them off Facebook and bring them onto like a landing page where they have to register. Um, you know, in some websites, it's, they allow you to click around for five minutes or five clicks, and then you have to register. Um, there are some some tools in Facebook that actually allow you to fill, customers to fill out a form on Facebook. Um, that's kind of a next step up. Uh, but I find that most people aren't really, I think you've got to give them something for them to really want to start signing up. Unless you've got some product that's kind of like a white paper that they just got to have, um, they're willing to give you information. If not, I think you've got you to tap dance a little bit for them to, to give you that information. Well, thank you guys very much. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free. I've got my contact information on here. I work with folks all the time just on helping them through the little steps through this. So I wouldn't mind a phone call anytime if you need help. So. Thanks. Thank you. What's this thing, Joe? I keep seeing all the time. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, hey guys, real quick, one, one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, when you run your ads, if you look at your ads, and if people like your ad, if you click on their name box, you'll see all of the people who liked your ad. Some of them may not be friends or likes of, even know, yeah. of your business page. Now, you're clicking on what now you can go in and invite them to like your page, right? So the, this is a potential list of new customers, and it allows you to go in and do some, some intel and actually start marketing them a little more seriously. So this is on the post. When someone does like your post, you'll see the post likers. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you can go in there and, and learn more about who's liked your post and maybe why, and then start contacting. <laughs> Do you think that's what that is? Somebody like it. Uh, they may have run by it. Yeah. They may have They just previewed. Uh, previewed is a. Uh, they previewed is a statement's pitch or whatever. Like, yeah. like for my business, you'll see them preview. But they didn't actually like They didn't actually like it. They just looked at it. They just previewed. Oh. Uh,